Hey Stampers, I'm Gail Davenport. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. Today, this is the card that we're going to be making. And I wanted to show you, last month we made this card, both from the same stamp sets, but I just wanted to show you how different they can be. This stamp set is so versatile, I just love it. It's called Have a Hoot, and it comes as a bundle. You can save 10%. It's the clear stamps, which I really like, because you can see what you're doing. And then we're using the new cobweb, again, <laughs> Uh, folder that we did last time and so this is what after I made this I decided I needed to do that so this is what the outside's going to look at like so we're going to go ahead and get started you're going to start with a piece of pumpkin pie and it's going to measure eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter and I scored this before I ran this through so when I ran it through I just did part of it like this and I ran it through this way in the machine so that the this end would stick out. So we have that done. And what I did then is I stamped the little images. I stamped this one and this one and this one on a piece of one and a quarter inch by one and a quarter inch square. And then I went ahead and colored them. And I'm missing one of them. <laughs> Maybe it's in my basket here. It is. Okay. So then I put them on a one and a half inch square of pumpkin pie. So before we do that though, we're gonna take a piece of our black glimmer. And I'm so glad that this is back. I love this stuff. So I was thrilled that they brought it back. And I'm gonna put it right about here. And you really wanna use Tombow, not just for the wiggle room, but because you really need a good adhesive when you're taping, pasting on something that is uh, been embossed so and then I took this and oh I forgot the measurements I'm sorry I wrote them down and left them over there so that doesn't really help me so this is let's see two and a half by four and an eighth and then, so I cut this then at two and a quarter by three and seven eighths. And this is the uh, designer series paper from this suite, or not this suite, but one of the other suites. And I cannot remember the name of it off the top of my head. But so what I did is I went ahead and I decided I wanted it about there. So I went ahead and did that. So we'll go ahead. right about there and then I just use dimensionals and I put the pumpkin in the middle because the two owls their eyes are both looking at the pumpkin that way so I kind of decided I want him down at the bottom so I tried to decide where the middle was gonna be and I'm not pushing it hard yet I'm just setting it down and I think we'll go probably about there And about there so I like that so I'm gonna push that down the inside I left basically blank because I figured you could write something with a black pen but I felt it needed a little something so again with the thinlets I took the little spider web and I cut it out in our basic black and I'm just gonna put a couple little spots on it to adhere it And I'm going to put it right there. So it's a pretty easy little card. I forgot to give you the measurements for the have a hoot. And like I said, I have them written down over there, but I don't want to take everybody's time away. So the outside is two and a quarter by oh, I can't read it. I need my glasses too. <laughs> Sorry about all this. This getting old, that's what happens. By, um, about one and a quarter. And then I did the orange, and this is just an eighth of an inch. And so, and it's um, two and an eighth by one and one eighth. And then the white is 
two by one. So I got something on that all of a sudden. Must have had it on my fingers. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to check out my online store at gaildavenport.stampinup.net. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And don't forget to touch the little bell, tap the little bell so you'll get all of my notifications. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.